Okay, so in order to link external libraries to your Eclipse projects, if you're working on a Mac, what you're going to want to do is first start off by creating a new project. Go to File, New, Java Project. Uh, we'll go ahead and give our project a name. So we'll call this something like Image Gallery. So I'm going to use this as an example since the specific library that I'm going to be uh, linking to this project is going to be JavaFX. Uh, we can then go ahead and, uh, if necessary, we can specify a particular JRE. Uh, in my case, I'm going to be using uh, essentially a version of Java 8. Uh, if you're fairly new to using Java, you probably just have one single version, so this particular step doesn't really mean much to you. Uh, we'll go ahead and click Next. And then inside of this part of the uh, this uh, dialog window, we're going to go into Libraries. So we see that we've got our JRE system library. This is basically just our Java API. In addition to this, we're going to go ahead and add an external jar. So we'll click that. What we then want to go ahead and do is uh, navigate to our library. So one of the easiest ways to do that, uh, if you've got uh, this visible in your set of files or set of locations in this left-hand menu, uh, you can go ahead and select something uh, to the equivalent of just your, uh, your uh, Mac device. So you're going to open that up. We'll go into our hard drive. And inside of there, you'll find this library folder. So you want to be able to navigate to this. Uh, we're going to go ahead and open up this folder. Uh, by default, whenever you're installing some version of Java, it will recommend putting it into this library folder. So you should see a Java folder inside of this. So we want to go ahead and open up this Java folder. Uh, once you're inside that Java folder, you'll see extensions and Java virtual machines. So we're going to go ahead and open up these virtual machines. Inside of there, you'll see any different versions of Java that you have installed on your machine. In my case, I have a couple of different versions. Again, if you're uh, fairly new to using Java, you'll probably have just one version. So you're just going to open that one folder. Uh, in my case, I'm going to go ahead and open up this JDK 1.8.0 update 171. I'm going to use this folder here. So open that. Inside of that folder, we'll have contents. So open those. Inside of that folder, we're going to see a home, uh, this plist file, and uh, macOS. We're concerned with this home folder, so we're going to go ahead and open that. And then inside of here, we're going to find this zip file, javafx-source.zip. We're going to select that, and we're going to click open. And that's going to add javafx-source.zip as part of our uh, build path. So now this is going to be included whenever we create this project. So we will click Finish. And now if we come over to our project right here, we can go ahead and open that up. And when we open it, we'll see that we've got our system library, so just our Java API. We've also got these reference libraries. So if we open this, we can see javafx-source.zip. So we've got our JavaFX library available as well. Uh, as long as we've got this, we can go ahead and test it to make sure that we are correctly accessing the classes inside of it. So in our source folder, we're going to go ahead and make a new package. So since the name of this project is Image Gallery, I'll just make the package name Image Gallery in all lowercase. case. Click Finish. And then inside of that package, I'm going to go ahead and make a new class. I'll call this image gallery. So this one will be exactly the same as the uh, project name, uh, capitalization and everything. Go ahead and click finish. And once we have this, we can go ahead and start adding a little bit of code to see that this is actually accepting classes from that JavaFX library. So we're gonna do an import for JavaFX dash application uh, dot application. Got that. We'll then uh, say that our class extends that application class. Well, that'll currently give us an error since we need to go ahead and implement the start method. So let's just go ahead and write out a little bit of code in the body. So we'll say public static void main. 
of our string args. Inside of our main method, we're going to be using that launch method. And then in addition to our main method, we're going to start writing out the definition for the start method. So do public void start. And then we'll do stage, primary stage. And then finally, since we're also getting an error for stage, we'll go ahead and import that as well. And if we're able to import both of those and write up this little bit of code, we don't have any errors, then this indicates to us that we are properly accessing those JavaFX classes. So all that stuff from the JavaFX library. Uh, from this point, you can go ahead and start adding additional imports for things like your scene, pretty essential, and then any other controls or layouts or uh, maybe other classes from the geometry packages of JavaFX, and then actually start building out your JavaFX applications.